Hello, hello, Cancer. Come on in here. Welcome to Wasted Traditions Tarot. I'm Tiffany. I will be doing your weekly reading for the week of March 31st through April 6th, Cancer. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to pull an angel number for you. We'll move over to one of my other oracle decks for an overall theme. And then we will use tarot for understanding and clarification. Cancer, how are you? I've been away for a little while. I'm glad to be back. I'm glad you've come back. If you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. All right, Spirit, what is Cancer's angel number for this week? Uh-huh. There we have a jumper. Cancer, your angel number is 0707. Compromise, self-awareness, forgiveness, professionalism, empathy, tenacity, and freedom. Let go of what no longer serves you, Cancer. Stop holding on to grudges. Express your emotions and aim towards a compromise. Where there's a lack of understanding, it's best to just move on. The truth will set you free, Cancer. All right, that's your, that is your angel number for this week, Cancer. Let's pull an oracle from the dragon oracle. Spirit, what does cancer need to know about compromise and letting go of what no longer serves cancer? Do tell. Rose pink dragon, cancer. Rose pink dragon. All right, Rose Pink Dragon prepares your heart to connect with the higher facets of the cosmic heart. Open your heart to warm-hearted love and a diamond light. Connect with the love of the universe. This is beautiful. I feel like this is very important for you at this point, Cancer, with this compromise. Angel number 0707. Because... You are able to find forgiveness when your heart is connected to the higher facets of the cosmic heart, to the oneness of it all, right? Connect with the love of the universe. When you are walking in love and truly grounded and connected in love, Cancer, you can absolutely compromise. You can absolutely let go of what no longer serves you. You can let go of the grudges. Um, you're able to communicate better and express yourself better, Cancer. I feel that is definitely poignant in this time. So let's see. What, let me see, I want to go with this. Let's pull some tarot, okay, the lovers. <laughs> More heart connection, I believe. The high priestess, wow, this major energy coming up for you. First thing, Cancer, in this reading. All right, the lovers. <sighs> So with the lover's card, Cancer, as we know with the compromise and the rose pink dragon, the lovers is also pointing you to come into partnership and come into union with the cosmic heart so that you're able to make compromises, so that you're able to forgive more easily and have empathy for others. And with the ability to stand and be grounded in heart energy from your heart chakra, this allows you to live more freely, right? You live more freely. You're able to express yourself better. Cancer, you're able to um, communicate your emotions more articulately and clearly. And then here we have the high priestess showing up for you, Cancer. That is more higher self. That is the higher cosmic heart that your angel number speaks of you know um with their i'm reading the angel card where there's a lack of understanding it's best to just move on with the high priestess you can find understanding when you tap into your higher self with this high priestess showing up they're 
you will come into a divine truth when you tap into your high priestess energy, male or female, right? You you be you gain wisdom, Cancer, right? So with that, you have a better understanding of what's happening around you and what's happening for you instead of to you, Cancer. You're you're better able to bring things into harmony and balance, and you're more cooperative in your relationships, such as the lover showing up here, and it doesn't always have to be romantic. And then we have the seven of pentacles for you, Cancer. Normally with sevens, to me, this points to inner wisdom. So it just points back to that high priestess for you, Cancer. It's pointing to a place of spirituality. Again, going back to the high priestess, going back to the cosmic heart being able to get yourself to a place of divine truth and the truth will set you free cancer there are you you need to take a beat and analyze how is it you're moving and behaving in the world that causes situations where compromise is required but you seem to be um how do i say you seem to be a rebel against compromise cancer i'm feeling for you cancer that you you have to be right and i've heard the saying many times before do you want to be right or do you want to be happy okay so again that that inner wisdom it continues to show up for you cancer so spirit is telling you to go within tap into your inner wisdom your soul's wisdom your higher self your spirituality, get back to that place. And then you have the five of wands here, Cancer. Because you are not willing to compromise, Cancer, it feels like you are always in conflict or you're always in competition. You have a rivalry. Something dramatic is always going on with you, Cancer. This is what I'm feeling. Um, and that creates an unstable lifestyle for you, right? But this could this could change. Fives in the tarot to me are change. Fives are freedom. Fives are liberation. So it doesn't have to stay in conflict for you, Cancer. Let's get some clarity. So four of swords is popping up. Page of swords. Yes, a lot of changing the way you think, Cancer. Okay? Changing your mindset. That's what I'm getting here. The devil... And four of wands. Okay. So we know f the four of wands is a card of celebration for you, Cancer. It's a card to remind you to come into community with self. Come into community with higher self. With your spiritual team. Which is your, your angels, ancestors, and spirit guides. Right? The four of wands is asking you to come home to self. And when you come home to self... You call on your spiritual team to help you navigate your life's journey, okay? Um, what else I'm getting from this Four of Wands? You are able to bring your life back into a stable fashion because right now, like I said, there's a lot of upheaval. There's a lot of rivalry with you, Cancer, because you want to be right, and you feel like being right makes you happy. And Spirit is saying you're not happy with being right. Spirit is asking you to be happy by going within. Be happy by living from your heart space. Connecting to the cosmic heart of all. The oneness of all, right? In order for you to gain freedom and have empathy for others. So you can walk a mile in their shoes and offer compassion and grace cancer. That's what I'm feeling for you. You need to come home to self. You've been outside of yourself for far too long. And it has caused an unstable lifestyle for you. It has caused conflict for you. But you can also come out of that. With the devil card. Let's take a look at this. I feel like for you, Cancer... You have an addiction to being right. You have an addiction to be in competition constantly with others. And it's it's creating it's creating relationships that are 
not harmonious, not balanced. You don't have cooperation in your life. This is what I'm feeling. I don't like this feeling for you, Cancer, but I want to be honest with you what I'm getting from the cards. The competition that you you are in on a constant basis for you, Cancer, it's not healthy, right? So we have the Page of Swords coming up for you. What I feel is you have to find a new way to communicate. You have to get a new perspective, Cancer, on how you interact, communicate, and do life with other people because what it what I'm feeling, it's not working. Spirit is clearly saying you need to connect back to heart space, go back to source. And here here we have the four of swords. You need to go into solitude and and we're reminded that of that here with the seven of pentacles the four of swords is asking you to do the same thing cancer solitude rest inner um guidance inner work analyzing right spiritual analyzation going into solitude is what i'm feeling with this four of swords so when you take the time out to take a beat breathe rest relax meditate pray journal whatever it is that you need to get you back to the cosmic heart to get you back to the oneness of it all to bring you into a place where you are a better able to compromise and you're not in conflict and competition with most people, I'm not saying everyone in your life you are in competition with, but most people in your life, what I'm feeling for you, Cancer, you're always in competition. You always want to win. You always want to be right. And it's not working out for you because your relationships aren't as cohesive as you would even like to believe. It feels like people are getting uh, highly frustrated with you, Cancer. Absolutely. Two of Cups, come back into balance. Come back into harmony. Harmony. Come back into relationship. You have the the ability and the authority, Cancer, with this King of Swords showing up. You are highly intelligent, but I feel like your intelligence is what's getting in your way because you're you're in your head entirely too much and not enough in your heart space to be an empathetic human being on this planet. So if you're empathetic, you are compassionate, you offer grace, there is compromise. Spirit is asking you to compromise more so that you can have a more harmonious life, Cancer. This is something that you're able to do. I want to look at the bottom of the deck on this one. Eight of Pentacles. You can do this. It's going to take hard work and determination, Cancer. But this is a good sign to say you are able to get through this part of your journey. You are able to transform your life. You will be powerful and successful with the changes you make in your life. Okay, Cancer, you can accomplish it, accomplish this, but you must take action now. You cannot delay. There is work for you to do so that you can begin to compromise and live a life of freedom and community. I'll see you next time, Cancer.